So I'd like to say a little bit about living life with Christ as a female religious um, and just explore a little bit with you about what it is for me to live with Christ in my particular vocation in the church. So I'm, um, I've been a sister for about 10 years and during that time I've lived my life as a religious, my mission in different ways, um, as a teacher, as someone studying and now working for the National Office for Vocation where we we help to create a culture of vocation where everybody is helped to realise that they have a particular call by God um, in this world. Now, my life as, a, as an, an active religious, it does involve me coming out to work and working um, within the National Office for Vocation, but I also live a community life. I live with seven other, other sisters in community, and together we're a little bit like a family. Um, there's a whole um, generational sweep between us, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s and 80s, all in my community. Um, and we, we live together, um, we pray together, and, um, and together we seek how we as a community can, can best live out our life as followers of Christ. Um, the heart of our life is living with Christ. It is trying to be true to what Christ asked us to be as his followers. It's living a life where we, where we forgive and where we, we start each day anew, looking upon each sister anew each day, trying to, to be as Christ asked us to be, living in communion with one another. And very often people say that, um, that our biggest mission is actually our community life. The fact that we, we try all very different women, different backgrounds, different ages, different personalities, that we try to to live together, just like the first 12 apostles, they're all very different, very different backgrounds. Um, but part of the wonder um, of the early church was the way in which the disciples of Jesus were a family. And that's what we try to do, um, living in community. Um, what structures our life as active religious is our life of prayer. Um, different religious orders have different ways of living their life of prayer. We, we follow the rule of St. Augustine, and the great St. Augustine of Hippo, who um, was one of the first religious to live a life centred um, in a monastery around a very ordered structure of prayer. So following the rule of St. Augustine, we have prayers together. We, we, we sing the, the divine office of the church um, in the morning, first thing, and the middle of the day, in the evening, and then a very short service at night before we go to bed. So our life is structured around prayer, and it's the prayer of the church, which is basically um, a series of psalms. We cover the, all of the psalms um, in the Bible through the course of a month, and, and kind of sections from scripture. Um, so that's kind of the bedrock of our life, our life of prayer. And one thing that's quite particular to our life is uh, um, our emphasis on the Blessed Sacrament. So we have adoration of the Blessed Sacrament each afternoon in all our houses throughout the world, whether it's out in the desert in Africa or um, I don't know, on some, some shanty town in Africa or living as I do in London. Adoration of the Blessed Sacrament, it forms part of our life each day. And what's lovely is people come, they come to share in that and have a bit of space and time and quiet where where Jesus is Lord is the only thing that's important and they come and present their cares and their concerns and just their love for Christ before him in the sacrament. So that's really what my life as an active religious re um, revolves around. My life with Christ is one in community with those that the Lord has given me to live with. Um, it involves a mission, a particular mission of, of education and it's centred upon prayer, upon prayer, and upon trying to live just the simple Christian virtues that all Christians are called to live. Um, so that's my life as an active religious sister. <laughs>